I have never met anybody who became incredibly successful in any area of their life until they had suffered and sweated and sacrificed and kept their focus and fought through tears and trials and tests and if you have a dream and you commit to it it will come to pass be clear in your mind in what you intend to achieve that sickness will be the end of you you'll never meet the right person you've made too many mistakes there's nothing good in your future do yourself a favor ignore the roar don't believe his lies when those thoughts come just give him the zero sign remind him you have no power over me the first level to success in life listen to me the very first level is you see it like it's clear to you you know exactly what you want you know exactly when you want it you know exactly what it tastes like you know what it looked like you know what it smells like before you really blow up blow up and you get success you literally have it in the palm of your hand without having it you take a half committed man and a half committed trifling woman and put them together and they'll have some half committed trifling kids and the whole house will be half committed because children will be what they see stop fussing at your kids they're a reflection of you but i'm gonna tell you something right now you can be successful without an education you can be successful without coming from a rich family you can be successful. I don't care what color you are, what faith you belong to, your sexual preference. I don't care what's wrong with you. You can be successful. You know what I thought to myself? I thought I would hate to live and die and never know what would happen if I ever committed myself to anything. Some people have never thrown their whole self at nothing. Not at school, not at work. Oh my God, you've had one foot in and one foot out of every dream all of your life and you've never seen what you could be if you ever really connected and threw everything. Sometimes people use the moral question as an excuse to be lazy and not to improve. Then on the other side, part of it is just the challenge to see what you can become, regardless of what the amount is. Your whole life is a facade. The whole thing is a fake. The whole thing is a front. Your whole life is a camouflage suit. And now you're getting older and you'll never get to see what you could have been because the cost of getting to see it is a commitment that you've never been willing to pay. You're trying to get somebody to fall in love with a you that you've never discovered yourself. nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. Now I'm sure in your experiences in school and applying to college and picking your major and deciding what you want to do with life, I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. But I never understood that concept having something to fall back on. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything except my faith. I want to fall forward. I figure at least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. We all have things that we're believing for, dreams that we want to accomplish, problems we're hoping will turn around. Maybe it's to see our family restored, to lose some weight, to break an addiction, to start our own business. But sometimes as it goes on, month after month, even year after year, we don't see anything changing. It's easy to get discouraged and think, it's never gonna happen. I want you to look out on your personal life and on your professional life. Now I want you to think about something you want very badly. Just think about one goal that you'd like to achieve. Like my, my driving passion was to buy my mother a home because I appreciated mama adopting us. And I said, mama, that, that's something I wanna do for you. And I, and I achieved that goal. And ladies and gentlemen, let me share something with you. There's nothing like doing something that you set out to do that gives your life some meaning and power and purpose. And that gave my life some meaning and power and purpose. And I'll, I'll never forget when we drove there and I gave her the key and she got out, she, oh my God, 
I said, nobody could have told me that, that, that you would have done this. And I was a bad one. I mean, I was a problem kid, you know. My mama used to wear my butt out. <laughs> so I whoop you behind until the cows come home. I said, I hope they hurry up. You come to the altar and you raise your hand and you say, Lord, I give myself to you, but you don't. You walk down here and join the church and you say, now I'm a member of the church, but you're not. You marry somebody and say, you can count on me. I'll be there through the thick and the thin for better, for worse, for richer and poor and sickness and health. You didn't mean it. Half studied, half worked, half labored, and then wonder why I thought I'd be further than I am at the age of... You gotta know what it looks like, tastes like, feel like. Because you know you're gonna compromise and your problem is you're not intentional and deliberate. You wake up on Monday and you might be strong. But by Wednesday, are you hearing what I'm telling you? You're not intentional and deliberate. You are hoping that the best is going to happen to you and the best never happens to you. You've got to be intentional and deliberate. Whether you're making money or not making money, you got to decide that you're going to do something and you got to do it every Monday. This is as good as it gets. I'll just learn to live with it. We all go through disappointments, setbacks, loss. Pain is a part of life. It's easy to get discouraged, even bitter. Think, why is this happening to me? Sometimes we look at pieces in our lives that don't make sense. The key is what we do in our times of pain. Pain will change us. Heartache, loss, disappointments, they don't leave us the same. Say your truth in all that you do. Breathe the real, you are enough. No judgment at all, just radiate love, the world is yours. That desire for more, as the sweat pours, I say it again, the world is yours. There ain't no slacking up, cause the words are only good as the actions that are backing them up. Greatness, you are able, but you gotta stop giving average a seat at the table. Lottery pick, one and done, you can either look up at the stars or you can become one. My gift to you, a brand new attitude. Complacency is just as dangerous as ingratitude. Now don't get me wrong, I won't judge you, but I will call you out and demand from you that greatness inside of you. To conquer the highest levels of life, one must not only get used to pain, but become immune to it. Champions stare at the things that make them uncomfortable until uncomfortable bows to them. Most people love the idea of being successful. They just don't love it enough to actually do the things that it takes to make it happen. Actions are the credit line that allows spoken words to purchase the dream. It's not all about just talking. You gotta move from talking to doing. To get anything, there's no secret to it. It's just hard work. You gotta put in the work. You gotta put in the hours. Whether it's repetitions or whether whatever it is, you gotta get up and get after it as hard as you can. Because there's somebody else that's out there that's doing it. You want to be the hardest working person in the world. If what they're going after truly makes them happy, you know, if, if, it's, if it's driven by happiness, they will have nothing but success. Because you will enjoy getting up early in the morning. You will enjoy outworking everybody. People that are miserable, I never understand why they're doing what they're doing. You have one life, you got one shot at this. There's no dress rehearsals at all. To be miserable going to job after job or just doing the same thing over and over again, to have no inspiration, you know, you're just a cognitive view. Every painful time, even though you don't like it, it's developing something in you that can only be developed in the tough times. Eventually, that will pass. You'll get through it, but you will be different. In those tough times, when you're uncomfortable, going through a loss, dealing with an illness, you could easily let it overwhelm you. Now, how the pain changes you is up to you. Let me tell you why you are not further. It is not the devil, it is not witches, it is not demons, and it's sure God ain't haters. You are not any further than where you are right now because you have never thrown your whole self at anything in your life. And you think greatness goes on sale. Every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday, 
The problem with some of you in this room, you're not intentional and deliberate. You're a good person. And just hope the good stuff is gonna happen to you. It has everything to do with what time you wake up. It has everything to do with how you eat. It has everything to do with how you work out, how you prepare. It has every single thing to do with how you think. Failure is a part of the process. You have to fail to win. You have to lose your fear of failure. Failure is a part of the process. People who don't, don't, who never fail, never try. You have to fail. You got to get it wrong to get it right. You learn nothing from winning. You only learn from your failures. Uh, Warren Buffett said he won't even invest in a person's business unless they failed in two other businesses. Because now you know what not to do. And so I think that's probably the biggest thing, man. I've just, uh, I've overcome so many failures. I've failed more times than I've succeeded. That's, <laughs> I tell you the truth, man. I feel, it's like Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan took 949 game-winning shots. He only made 123. He's the greatest basketball player to ever live. He only made 123 game-winning shots. He took 949 of them. But true quality never goes on sale. Greatness costs what it costs. Oh my God, help me in here today. I feel something about to take over this place. Somebody in this church is ready to receive this word. You're ready to get your breakthrough. My God, I feel a miracle coming in this place today. All you gotta do is, all you gotta do is win some of the time. A professional baseball player, out of every 10 at bat, if he hits the ball three times out of 10, he makes millions of dollars. You understand? If a basketball player makes 50% of his shots, he makes millions of dollars. All he got to do is hit half of them. Not at the free throw, but in the game. That's, that's what you got to learn. I, probably the other thing for me is, when I stopped living my life in probabilities, and started living only in possibility. Probability is when somebody gives you a statistic, like one in, like they told me, one in every 20,000 comedians will get on the Tonight Show. That was the odds. And I went cool. And the dude went, what do you mean cool? I said, I'm gonna get on the Tonight Show. He said, no, you didn't listen to me. He said, one in every 20,000 ever make it to the Tonight Show. Excuse me. You did say one, didn't you? That's the possibility. You can come out bitter, or you can come out better. You can come out defeated, giving up on your dreams, or you can come out with a new passion, a new fire, excited about the new opportunities in front of you. I may not like it, but I'm not a whiner. I'm a warrior. I know I can handle this. Don't complain about the pain. Without the pain, we couldn't reach the fullness of our destinies. When you want it as bad as you want to breathe says, I'm willing to make any sacrifice. I'm willing to go through any pain. I'm willing to go through any suffering. I'm willing to go through whatever it takes. So when I get in there, and it's me and him one one one, but I guarantee you at the end of it, I will be the one who surrender in order to have unbelievable choice and options in your life, in your pursuit of your dream, you must eliminate them. You must shrink your focus down to one thing, one business, one focus at one time and master it and get great at it.